So LED lights are notoriously bad for your health. And if you're looking into red light therapy, you may have noticed that a lot of the devices on the market are using LEDs in order to deliver red and infrared light. So in this video, we're going to be unpacking whether or not there is a health concern if you're using LED lights in red light therapy. What's up guys, it's Nick Kutzer here and welcome to the Mychondria YouTube channel. On this channel, we discuss things all about light and circadian rhythms and how you can optimize these things in order to live your best life. Now, if you've been following us for a while, you may have noticed that we haven't made any new content for a while. This is entirely my own fault. I've been living in Bali and in Indonesia for the last five months um, and I haven't been putting out any video content on the YouTube channel. I have some very interesting insights, you know, living in a very sunny climate and now figuring out ways, you know, how does red light therapy fit into, you know, your lifestyle when you're in a sunny, very sunny climate versus when you're in like a cold winter where there isn't much um, sunlight. So we're going to have some more videos on that coming out shortly. But in the meantime, we're going to be addressing a very interesting question that I got from one of our customers. And that is, if red light therapy is using LEDs, isn't that bad for your health? Now, this is a very valid question. If you consider or if you've been in the health space, you would have noticed that a lot of people mention how bad LED lights are for you. Now, traditionally, most offices and even homes, gyms will use LED lights. And the reason why these are so bad for you is because they have a very high concentration of blue light. Now, isolated blue light is really bad for your health because it's something that is completely unnatural. In nature, you would never be exposed to isolated blue light because it would always be balanced out by red and infrared light. Even in the middle of the day when you're getting a ton of UV and blue light at that time, the sun is still at minimum 42% red and infrared light. Now, the technology behind LEDs basically allows us to isolate specific wavelengths of light. And when you look at traditional lighting, what they basically do is in order to make the lighting the most efficient in terms of electricity and producing light, they cut out the type of light that doesn't produce very good vision. And that is often the infrared and even the red spectrum. So the big concern with LEDs in general is that they will be exposing you to these unnaturally high concentrations of blue light and it's not matched out with any of the red or infrared spectrum. Now in nature, you would find when it's sunrise or sunset that you would get these very high concentrations of red and infrared light. Even something like a fire at night, that would expose you to red and infrared light. So when you're isolating this part of the spectrum, it's not something that is unnatural. And we're basically able to tap into the benefits of LEDs. And that is that we're able to isolate specific wavelengths of light. Now what we're doing is purposefully choosing the wavelengths of light in the red and infrared spectrum that upregulate the energy production the most within your cells. So in the red range, you're looking at 630 and 660 nanometers. And in the near infrared spectrum, you're looking in the mid 800s, normally around 850 nanometers. So the notion that LEDs are bad for you, 99% of the time, this is true, especially with modern lighting, where you're getting exposed and they're basically creating lighting just for vision. And in doing so, they create a very unnatural source of lighting that can wreak havoc on your circadian rhythm and your health. Now, when it comes to red light therapy, we're using the same technology, but it doesn't have the same consequences purely because we're being a bit more conscious of your health. We're not making red light therapy devices for vision. We're making them in order to improve the mitochondrial health of your cells. So while they share the same technological uh, advancements, the red light therapy devices do not pose any of the same risks that you would get with uh, traditional LED lighting. And if anything, we've actually used the power of LEDs by harnessing you know, those specific wavelengths that are gonna optimize your health the most. If you guys have any questions or if you'd like to see any future topics covered, please drop them in the comments section below. We'll answer them or you know, create video content for you. We're gonna have a bunch of new content coming out soon. If you want to make sure that you don't miss any of that content, then make sure that you hit both the subscribe and the notification bell. We also really appreciate it if you enjoyed the content of this video that you smash the thumbs up button and just let us know that this is the type of content you want to see and fuels our fire to make more content like this for you. If you have any questions again, drop them below. But other than that, I hope that you have a fantastic day further and we will chat again soon. Cheers.